Hi, my name is Misty Bancaro. I'm from Seattle, Washington. A lot of people know me as Seattle Butcher's Wife. I got into barbecue simply by um, you know, looking at social media pictures and videos about barbecue and meat. I was attempting to set up a social media account for my husband's family business. We have a USDA meat processing facility in Seattle. And I told him he's got a great story that we needed to get the word out. So I went on, started his page, Mondo and Sons. And then with that, I started searching hashtags of meat and barbecue. And all of a sudden it turned into all of these delicious meats. And I thought to myself, uh, this looks actually easier than I thought. So maybe I should give it a try. And that's how it all started. Okay, so I, the stories of the Seattle Meat Man's wife. That is just one of those things that I put in my profile that I'm like, I'm not gonna take that down. That's part of who I am. And I originally started this page with no idea that I would be working with brands or doing anything like that. I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna tell this story from the sideline. I don't need to be the face of the brand. I'm not a meat girl. I mean, I might have married a meat guy, but I'm not a meat girl. And look where I am today. So I still leave it up there. There are many stories to tell. I'm really telling a lot of stories around, you know, my recipes and sharing the how to's or sharing some fun, you know, meat moments on my page. Um, but there are a lot more stories to tell. So stay tuned. I think eventually what I can do is a longer format with YouTube or something. I can tell more of those stories, but it's been quite an adventure being married to a meat family. What made me shift from corporate retail to barbecue was, you know, the pandemic happened. I started to sort of, you know, sift around and play with this idea and learn how to barbecue on the side. You know, when you think about it, we were doing Zoom calls and not visiting and not talking and wearing masks for a little bit. So at the time, um, the company I was working for was in skincare and makeup, so we couldn't even really do that. So, you know, in between the Zoom calls and of course before and after shift, um, I'm out on the deck learning how to grill and asking my husband to bring these different cuts of meat and things that I'm seeing on social media home so I can practice and play. And then after doing that for some time, I realized like I would, I'm so happy doing this that I'd like to do this full time. Um, and I didn't have any idea of how quickly that could actually happen. But with practice and collaboration, here I am I'm spending most of my days grilling, whether it's for my family or for social media. It's been quite a blessing. Barbecue is generational, and you guys would have a lot of fun if there was only a video camera on some of the training classes I have held on my deck. <laughs> See, I have three kids, and next door, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, they have three kids also. And so between the two houses, six kids makes a pretty good barbecue class. So especially when I first got started, we did ribs training, uh, we did, um, chicken wings, um, what else have we done? We've done a lot of little creative crafty side dishes and I always get them to participate so that because they want to eat it. <laughs> so I'm like, if you do this, you get all the ribs. My family, um, as far as the dishes that they request the most from me, um, are probably pulled pork is one of the most favorites because the kids use it in so many different ways. And whenever I do that, they like to show off to their friends and they ask me to do that for whatever their picnics, their classroom parties. Can you do another pulled pork, please? Last weekend, I made pulled pork and brisket for one of the kids. They had a little party. They want to show off their mom is the butcher's wife. So <clears throat> probably the big, you know, low and slow meats are kind of very popular. And of course, a burger. My family just love the smoked, uh, the slow of an actual burger on the grill. So very simple, um, but those are the most requested. When I think about um, women in barbecue, I also think about um, Tootsie. I had the opportunity to meet her uh, this past year, and I think about work ethic and muscle and grind and practice in the trade, and I'm super inspired by that. Um, I'm not a competition barbecuer necessarily, but I love seeing the hustle behind it. I see the work that goes into it. When it comes to my childhood, my cooking experience and exposure was mostly from my mom. Um, she was really great at cooking. She grew up on a farm, so she made sure that myself, I'm the oldest, and I had three younger brothers, were always fed very well. 
Uh, there wasn't a grill that I remember that was really present in my lives growing up, unless it was a family barbecue and maybe some uncles from uh, the farm were cooking for us. But um, we had lots of great home cooked meals. Steak and potatoes was just like a regular meal for me. My biggest takeaway from barbecue is just having the confidence and knowing that anyone can do it. So what I love about barbecue is that it's for everyone and it brings people together. I love bringing the family together, bringing friends together. And also one of the things that, you know, is a takeaway for me is being able to inspire other people to go do it themselves. And even more specifically, getting the ladies to the grill. That's one of my favorite things is that, you know, for a long time, I didn't know that I could do this successfully. I didn't really think this was for me. And stepping out of my comfort zone and taking just a few steps and learning the trade, I am so excited and inspired every day to try new recipes, to try new things, try new methods, and learn from the people around me. So my biggest takeaway is really inspiring others to get to the grill. With, with a lot of uh, people following me and knowing that they're watching my videos and seeing, you know, some of them are several thousands of people watching the video, um, for me, it, it is I, it's surreal actually um every once in a while i'm talking to someone i'm meeting live who i've never met before who shared with me at barbecue events oh misty seattle butcher's wife i've followed you for a long time i've tried these recipes they're my favorite my family loves them as soon as i hear that i sort of just like my my hair is like I just can't even believe it. You know, I can't believe it because I'm doing this to help others. I'm doing it to share and I'm having fun with it, but I forget how far it goes. I forget like how it reaches families and people. And there are actually a lot of people that were just like me, wondering and curious that are trying recipes and they're getting excited about it and they're sharing it with their family and their friends. Um, one of my personal friends, my husband's friend, he said, Misty, thank you. I want you to know you saved me. I go, what happened? He goes, oh, I just, made those tacos that you shared and everyone at my party was like, these are the best tacos I've had in my life. And I was like, oh, thank you. You know, so it just made me feel good. It was worth the, you know, hour I took editing that video, you know? So those are the things that make me happy. And another thing that most people don't see is the DMs that I will get. And even more specifically from um, women who have said, hey, I want you to know for the first time ever, I opened up my husband's grill, I, I cleaned it off and I cooked on it and this is what I did and thank you. And now I'm gonna buy my own grill. <laughs> and so I'm like, that is so great. I love those stories or I have lots of um, ladies especially saying, hey, you know, what temperature did you wrap this at? What rub did you use? Where can I get that? I feel like I'm a constant source of, you know, where to go and get things and how to do things. And I, that really inspires me to keep it going.